Hi guys, welcome back to Tarot Makes Up. Today I'm going to do a look that I've been wearing quite a lot at the minute. It's very autumnal and wintry, and I realised the other day that I haven't done a berry lip for a while, so I thought I would show you how I've been wearing that on myself. So first thing first, I'm going to pin some my hair out my face because I really need a haircut at the minute. And um, I've got a lot of hair. I have really, really thick, heavy hair. So I'm going to pin it out the way a little bit more just so it's a bit easier to see what I'm doing, which is going to look very comical. Um, the first thing I'm going to use, which I have been loving, again, it's getting a lot of buzz on YouTube and I think the formula is improved, um, is L'Oreal True Match. Um, I wear the shade 1D Golden Ivory. And I just think this is a really... It's a foundation that does seem like a high-end foundation would work. So I find one and a half pumps is fine for me. Um, I really like to use it on a buffing brush. Where have I put my buffing brush? Um, so like the Zoeva one. And I'm just going to start from the centre of my face and work my way outwards. Um, and it is, I would say it's a more moisturising formula that they've changed it to. Um, but the coverage is good. I think it lasts really well as well. And it's really good at just removing all the redness as well, especially around my nose where I've been blowing my nose a lot recently because I've had a cold. Next product I'm going to use is by NYX and I've been loving this. This was in my October favourites as well. It is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I'm using the shade Ash Brown, which is very similar to Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, you get a little spoolie on the end. Oh, I've got greasy fingers. But yeah, I find the spoolie on this is really good. The colour's really good for my eyes, for my eyebrows, sorry. Um, and yeah, I find it lasts just as well. The formula is very, very good. So just adding a little bit more shape and definition. I always have to add a little bit more in on my arch. And then I like to just pull it out a little bit. The next product I used, um, and this is the makeup that I was wearing, I think in my October favourites video, I think I was. Um, I'm going to take a bit of, this is one of the Benefit little sets. I think this is a Christmas set, or it might be exclusive to Well Duty Free. But I was working with them recently, and I used this in a video, and I've become obsessed with it ever since. It's called the Creaseless Colour Wash, and this is in Honey Talks. And it's like a crease-proof eyeshadow. I really like it as a primer though, so I'm just going to use it with my fingers. And this always has like a very, very slight kind of golden tint in. Um, but I just find it lifts the shadows on the eyelid. It makes a really pretty base. And it does give a little hint of shimmer, but that actually is very nice, like daytime wearable. And just makes the lid look really clean. So I'm just popping that on my finger. And it's nice because it just creates a little kind of highlight on the inner corner of the eye, but very subtle and very natural. Um, and it's not too distracting, but perfect if you want to do a liner, which I'm about to do. So I'm going to let that set. Now going back to another H&M favourite, it is the eyeshadow in Gingerbread. I really like this as a crease colour, so I'm just going to take this, I think on a MAC 217 or maybe even a Sigma brush actually. I'm going to use it on a little Sigma dome brush. This is a small tapered blending. I just want to take a little bit of this through the crease but quite softly, and I'm going to blend this out a little bit more as well, so it's not as harsh. But I'm going to start with it a little bit sharper with this brush first, and then I'm going to buff it out with a fluffy brush. And then just going back to like a NARS 13 brush, something a little bit bigger and fluffier. Just going to start to take that through the crease, so I get a nice bit of contour and a little bit of shape through my socket, which I like when I'm wearing a berry lip. Sometimes I do like my skin kind of really nude, um, but yeah, I do also like having a little bit of definition, and this is a great crease colour, especially if you have kind of pale to medium skin tone. Then I'm going to move on to a liquid liner, and I'm going to use the Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Colour High Intensity Liquid Liner. Um, I find the nib on this is really nice, especially if I'm kind of going from halfway along, because it's really, really thin. So, as I said, I'm going to start from about halfway, rather than going all the way across. So I like it when the liner looks as if it's coming from within the lashes. Um, so it's just going to elongate the eye a bit and from halfway I'm starting to go across the lid and once I get to where the line finishes, where my eye line natural fi naturally finishes, I'm going to create a little flick and I'm going to pull my flick outwards to about there and then I'm going to join it up. So once I've got to that stage, as you can see, I'm just going to fill it in and join it up. So I've gone for quite a feline shape, but I think that's going to be nice with the lip. It's not going to take away too much from the lip, and it still gives my eye a nice bit of shape. I'm also going to take a little bit of that H&M eyeshadow just underneath the bottom lash line as well, just to give a little bit of natural shadow. So just kind of on the outer 
outer third of the bottom lash line. So next on to mascara, and I'm not going to cover lashes today, but obviously you could do. Um, I'm going to use the Fairy Drops uh, Scandal Queen mascara, and I've got the pink one now. And I'm slightly confused because I thought the pink one was waterproof, but in Beauty Mart they said the gold one was waterproof, which is this one, which I've been using for a long time. Um, so I'm going to test this out today and see what I think, but um, it's a mascara I really love, and I'm excited to try the pink version. So I'm going to do that top and bottom on my lashes. I always prefer mascaras once they've been open a week or so. So I find the texture is a little bit better, it's not too wet. And I'm just taking a little bit of that as well on my bottom lashes. So now I'm going to move on to concealer and I'm going to use this one by Becca which is their new ultimate coverage concealing cream and this one is in the shade banana which tends to suit my skin quite well. And I'm just going to use my ring finger and I'm just going to pat that quite low down and I'm just going to work it upwards just with a patting motion with my finger. Like I said this is very pigmented. Um, and it's quite long lasting as well, so I'd say this is definitely a good one if you're looking for a full coverage concealer. I definitely had a late night last night. Not doing really anything exciting though, I was doing that whole capsule wardrobe thing that everyone keeps talking about. Um, seeing if I could unclutter a little bit. So this has quite a yellow undertone in it, so for me it's good. I find yellow undertones definitely make me look a little bit more awake. Um, I'm going to take a little bit around my nose as well actually, I'm going to try and do that all with the same concealer because I'm being lazy. But I like that concealer, it feels quite stiff when it's in the pan. Um, but yeah, I think unless you have, this would be quite a good one for oily skin actually, it's kind of similar to the texture of like a seafood camouflage. Um, so I think it'd be quite good on spots actually as well, but I actually quite like this under the eyes, I think it gives a lot of brightness. Um, I am going to use a tiny bit of powder, I'm going to use some of the, oh no, spilled up my dress. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of powder, I'm going to use a bit of the One Heck of a Block by Soap and Glory and I'm just going to take a little bit of that all over where I'm going to apply some blusher, a little bit down my T-zone, I want my makeup to last today because I've got meetings all day and I'm going to take this a little bit under my eyes as well, I find this one actually is kind of soft enough to use under my eyes, I'm just going to buff that in. I'm going to use this um, colour by Becca, this is their, uh, I think this is the Highlight Low Light and it's got a gorgeous contour. Again, I'm using a lot of my October favourites today, so it's good you can kind of see them in action. Um, and I'm going to take my, whoop, I keep getting things on my arm. I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury um, Sculpt Brush, and I'm just going to dip the contour in. I'm going to knock a little bit off, because this is quite um, pigmented, this contour, but I'm just going to enhance the shadows that I naturally have. And I'm just going to kind of blend it outwards as I do this just to add a little bit of more shape and sculpt. And I'm also gonna use a little bit of the highlighter actually today. I kind of fancy a little bit of highlighter. And I'm gonna use this on the tops of my cheekbones because it's really super pretty. And that is gorgeous. I really like this set. I think it's really hard to find an amazing highlighter and contour in the same one. I do like the Charlotte Tilbury um, Film style bronze and glow, but I would say that's more of a bronzer than a sculpt. I find I tend to use that more like a bronzer rather than a kind of sculpting product. But these two together are really, really lovely. And I'm also going to take a tiny bit of that kind of uh, highlighter shade just on the inner corner of my eye. I'm just going to pop a little bit on the inside just to give a little bit more brightness and wide awake feel. And it's such a pretty highlight colour. A little bit peachy, a little bit kind of rose gold. Just that little bit there, just for a little pop of highlights. And for lips, I think in the video, um, sorry, on my Facebook page, I was wearing this lipstick, which is the uh, Rimmel one, which I wanted to show you because it's actually a bit more sheeny than what I normally go for. I tend to go for kind of matte lips because I love them. Um, but I actually think this is a really nice autumn winter berry and it's really moisturizing, so it doesn't dry the lips out. Um, however, the other ones that I really like are NARS Damned is lovely if you want more of a matte finish. Um, the NYX ones are lovely, and also this colour by Revlon, their matte balm, is also really lovely. Um, but I'm going to go in with the uh, the Rimmel one and show you what I think, because I think it's nice seeing kind of like a sheeny lipstick. So I'm just going to go in from the bullet first. And it is quite pinky purple. And I'm going to blot that in, but instantly it kind of just gives my face a little bit more colour back. And I'm just using a lip brush rather than a lip liner. I find that this does wear down quite well because it's quite a long-lasting lipstick. So you could by all means use a lip liner with it if you wanted to, but 
I find once I've got the shape with the lip, um, with the lip brush, the Shua Mera one's amazing. Once I've got the shape, I can then just top up throughout the day and I don't really need, um, I'm using the brush the way I would use lip liner. So just perfecting my shape. But it's quite different for me to wear something that's a bit more creamy if I'm wearing a dark colour. But I like that about this lipstick. Good to try new things, people. And so that's the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that makeup tutorial. It's really nice to be wearing a creamy, dark lipstick. Like I said, I tend to go for more mattes. So it's nice to go out my comfort zone a little bit. And I really like how moisturising this is. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you for more videos. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.